All right, the absolute easiest type of equilibrium problem to solve is where you have two reactants becoming a single reactant. That's a synthesis reaction. And the coefficients on the two reactants are the same. The reason is that you can square root both sides and avoid having to use a quadratic equation. Let me show you why. First, we'll start by creating the equilibrium expression KEQ which itself is products over reactants. We have the concentration of HI squared on top because there's two HIs in the chemical reaction. The concentration of H2 on bottom to the power of one and the concentration of I2 on bottom to the power of one. The idea here is if you knew the equilibrium concentrations of these, you could plug them in to calculate KEQ but we're giving you KEQ, and you'll always be given KEQ if you're asked about equilibrium concentrations, like if you're asked to calculate them. So what we end up doing is we create an ice table. I hope you know what an ice table is if you're watching a video about equilibrium, but if you don't, you take the initial concentrations of each of the reactants, and you show it becoming a higher concentration than zero of products. Again, let me illustrate that. We're beginning with 0.6 moles per liter of both hydrogen and iodine. So we start with 0.6 moles per liter, and we have no hydrogen iodide to start with. We're eventually going to lose some of this and lose some of that, but gain uh, this, like gain some of the hydrogen iodide. If this is a one to one ratio, this is a one to two ratio, so where we lost x on the reactant side, we will gain two x on the product side. That means the equilibrium concentration of H2 is 0.6 minus some amount x. The equilibrium concentration of iodide is 0.6 minus some amount x. And the equilibrium concentration of HI is zero plus two x. That simplifies to two x. Here's the important bit. When you plug all of these equilibrium concentrations, and I know that they have an X in it, but you're gonna be solving for X to figure out how much was lost or gained. When you plug those in and plug a number in for KEQ, you're gonna be able to solve for X. 52 is my KEQ. My equilibrium concentration of HI is 2x, but it is squared according to the equation. And on bottom, my concentration of H2 is 0.6 minus x, and my concentration of I2 is also 0.6 minus x. Now, if you're good at math, you might already see that you can square root this side. But I'm gonna make it explicit for you. We're trying to solve for x, and I have 52 equals 2x all squared, and then because this is 0.6x, sorry, 0.6 minus x times itself, it is also squared. So how can you deal with this? The answer is you can square root both sides. Square rooting this side will cancel out the squareds. The square root of 52 is some number, 7.2111. 7.2111 equals 2x over 0.6 minus x. Notice we cancel out the squareds. You can only do this square rooting trick if everything has an even exponent. This is actually just a, a linear equation in disguise. You can multiply both sides by 0.6 minus x or move that to the other side with multiplication if you're into that. Now you have to multiply the 7.2111 times the 0 0.6, 7.2111 times 0 0.6. Oh, I'm doing this on my calculator. Can you see that? This is 4.32667 minus 7.2111. That equals 2x. That was just a regular distribution taught in grade nine in Ontario, but hey, I don't know where you go to school. Um, oh, I lost my x here, 7.2111 times x. I can now move this to the other side, that's 4.32667 equals 2x plus 7.2111x. 
that gives me 9.2111x. When I add the two together, you can divide. This is all, I would call it easy algebra, but if you're not feeling too great at math, don't worry. Uh, what I'm doing here will always be what you do if you can square root both sides. Divided by 9.2111, I end up with 0 0.4697 as x. That's me dividing both sides by 9.2111 to cancel it out. So what does that mean? That means that in this chart, this ice table, the equilibrium concentration of H2 is 0 0.6 minus whatever that number is. The way teachers like you writing that out is H2 with a little subscript EQ at the bottom. That's the equilibrium concentration of H2. It's 0 0.6 minus X, which is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4697. 0 0.6 minus that answer is 0 0.1303 moles per liter. My equilibrium concentration of I2 is exactly the same, so I can call it the same number without showing any more work. And my equilibrium concentration of HI is oh, two times that X. Uh, 0 0.9394 moles per liter, apparently. Cool, so I've got my equilibrium concentrations and I'm done. This video specifically was to show you that you can square root both sides sometimes for a shortcut in solving equilibrium problems. My last shout out for you is that if your teacher cares about significant figures, significant digits, stuff like that, you'll have to note that this is one significant figure. So your final answers are actually just 0 0.1 for this one, 0 0.1 for that one, and 0 0.9 for that one. You're only allowed to use the one digit if you only had one in your original. But hey, that's the way the game goes. Best of luck.